is Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 8 of season 2 of Fruits Baskets. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I can't even hear, you know why? I don't even have my headphones on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh, she's seen him. Of course not. She needs to be free. That cave job. Uh. <laughs> oh, good girl. If only she could go, but I mean, because the keto's there, you really don't want to knock on that wood with her. Because, ooh, a keto and her freaking ass. I can't. How can I miss it? There's so much <laughs> y'all don't know. <laughs> I ain't gonna talk about it, but ooh. <sighs> oh. I can't stand them. I, I just ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> it's your bitch. But there's a reason why, and I can't talk about it. It's not we're we're like nowhere near there yet. But like, uh, oh my god, I just oh, uh, No, it's okay. Oh, 
<laughs> She's just got stuff on her mind. <laughs> well, yeah, for, for people who really like to play in the sand. <laughs> you had a right to stay on.
Oh, you look so pretty right there. Shit, I can't. <laughs> Mommy G, how the hell can you hold that thing if it's not broken? I'm hungry too. We just don't want World War Three, Carol. It's all. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jesus Christ, hold on girl, wait, 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 hold on, okay, this chick just walked all the way down there in heels, we gotta mm -hmm. applaud that, maybe she took a train in, but still, applaud, she's probably turned into a fucking, no, we can't talk about that yet, cause that's a spoiler, she turned into her thing, and like, yeah, <laughs> that's how she got there. Kind hearted, my ass. <laughs> you just need a couple more bucket farts. Okay, that makes sense. Because most cats don't like water anyway. Really? I thought it would be like parakeet or something.
I mean, because we all know it's going to happen, and it's probably going to be awkward as fuck. <laughs> Oh my god, Toru! Fucking best girl. Well, you would meet one more, but you know, Akito.
also been fine. You won't get in trouble for it though, right? I can't help but hurt you though. I'm sorry. Damn it. Oh, Toru, if you only knew <laughs> who the rooster is, I mean, oh, <laughs> I don't want to really go into details and spoilers, but it ain't a keto baby. Like, if you only knew, baby girl, oh my god. But my girl, oh, she's so pretty, no worries, oh my god. <laughs> I love her so much. She's literally one of my favorite characters. And I get her at times because of reasons and stuff. But, oh. I can't. <laughs> Just seeing her. I'm like, ah! This is such a good episode. I had so many good moments. This is Yuki and Toru. And, yo, I can't. Mm. Who in the world says to someone that I'll wait for you and then I'll wait for me? <laughs> That's like, oh god, I want that in a relationship. Like, if I had a, a if I had a boyfriend or a husband who was going into the military and just said that, I'd just be like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh my god, I can't. So much. I don't want to know. I want to know, but at the same time, I don't want to know with this next with next week's episode because, oh god, like a keto, god damn it, like girl, girl, I'm not ready for this. I, hell, I didn't even like the fact that you know her and the conversation that she had with Haru and the shit that she said to him. Still, anything that she truly says to anyone. It just rubs me off the wrong way, and I can't. And that's one of the many reasons why I can't stand her. But at the same time, I pity her so freaking much because of big ass spoilers that I'm not gonna really talk about. But when when we get there, you know, that's when we'll know because it's like one of the most fucked up slash saddest things about her, and you you wouldn't really expect it or assume it with this character but oh, um yeah but I can't really talk about that until we get there but we got like a long way to go because I really don't know where or when no not where when they're gonna bring it up I don't think they're gonna bring it up in this season it's probably gonna be in the final season I'm guessing because that's when a lot of ish is gonna happen so like, oh, God, I can't. <sighs> next week is just gonna be so freaking I don't want Kyo to go. Like, oh my god. Toru, he's only doing it so that Toru can truly be alone. Without, I mean, she, yeah, she's only doing this so she can have to, Toru be alone. And I hate that. But what else can Toru do? I mean, Toru would just be sitting around or going to the beach or something. And 
it's nice to go by yourself just to get some, you know, thinking about something, relaxation or whatever. But then at the same time, it's just like you kind of wish you could go with someone else. But because Aikido is feeling some type of way about Toru, it's just like, nah, fuck it. Everybody's going next time. God, I just... Uh, we already know somebody's gonna find... They're gonna find out about Rin. Somebody else is gonna find out. I mean, it's... Since the fact is that both Toru and Yuki were the first two to find her, it's going to be, like... I'm gonna say maybe either next week or episode 10 when Hataharu finds out that she's here. And so, hopefully, I pray that those two finally have a conversation. But... I mean, because of the way Rin is right now, I, I don't know. Like, do I really want them to have a conversation now? A little bit of yes and a little bit of no. I don't want her to end up hitting him or somebody else. Like, how, how she almost did with Toru in this episode. But, I mean, it's because she has a lot of issues. And, like I said, I can't talk about those either as much as I want to. Because I barely really remember the stuff about her. But, oh. I can't wait. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction to towards episode 8 of season 2 of Fruits Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 9. Bye, guys.